So I'm going to do a quick mid tutorial tutorial where I show you how to put on false eyelashes because people always ask me how I wear false eyelashes all the time and it's really not that hard. So I'm going to clear the air now. The first thing you want to do is buy a cheap pair of eyelashes for testing because you don't want to splurge on expensive eyelashes and then mess them up. So they only offer two kinds and it's this kind and then another kind and the other kind just don't look good to me. They just look very fake. They don't blend with my real eyelash as well. Not a big fan. So the first thing you want to do, open your eyelashes. A lot where people mess up is how they take them off and then how long they wait for the glue to dry and what they use to put them on with. So the first thing you want to do is bend. I don't know if you can see this, but you're going to want to bend the, the package and pop. Let's see, bend it, and you're going to want to pull from the middle. And you don't you don't want to individually grab onto just one strand. You want to grab onto a big chunk so that you don't misplace any of the lashes. And you're going to go slowly, and you're just going to gradually take that off. No, I don't even know if you can see this. Gradually take that off. And you're going to go slow. So see, you get it off. You're, you might have a little like niche where it looks a little different. Like right there, there's a little gap. I don't know if you can see that. That's okay. You're going to put some mascara on them. They're a dollar. It's fine. Um, just smooth it over a little bit. And you're good to go. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to do with these is you're going to want to trim them. So I always trim from the outside. So this is a right lash and I will trim about half an inch off the bottom. So also sometimes there's a little glue stuck and I pull it off. I don't like that. Um, so yeah, you're going to cut a little bit off. I have these fancy scissors that I like to use. So I can't get my camera to focus. This is as good as it's gonna get. And I just cut off maybe half an inch. And then once you cut them to your desired length, you want to take them, see if I can get it. You wanna take them and you wanna flare them out a little bit. So you just wanna kind of pull the lashes apart a little bit so they don't look so stiff so they look a little more natural because your natural lashes aren't perfect they're not stiff or sturdy in any way they're very much so just all over the place duh um next thing you're going to want to do is you get some adhesive i personally don't like the adhesive that comes in the elf packaging so i just get duo glue it's my favorite you get the white, it, it, it's white when you put it on, dries clear. It, that's what I use, I don't know. It doesn't really matter what you use for your first time. If you want to just use the glue that's in here, it's fine, it works. It'll stay on your face all night. It's not, it's not the glue I don't like, it's really just the bottle and it doesn't have like a squeeze tip. It's hard to put on. If you plan on investing and in wearing fake eyelashes, I would just go ahead and get this. It's worth your, it's worth the money and the hassle. Just do it. Um, so then, how I put the glue on. See where I can't even find my tweezers. Okay. Next, I will grab the eyelashes with my tweezers in the middle, as close to the vein of the lash as I can get. Um, and then I open my duo glue and I put it on the back of my hand, which I know weird, but just bear with me. So I put it on the back of my hand and then I use the back end to scrape it up and lay it on the vein of the lash. This is a lot easier than trying to just squirt it onto the vein because if you just try to squirt it on there's a chance you're going to get it on the actual lashes and just ruin it so this way i know that i'm not going to get it on the lashes and it's just going to be a lot more precise once you have the glue on your lash you're going to want to let it dry you're going to want to let it get tacky so sometimes I've heard people say like 10 15 seconds whatever I just 
I don't know when I feel when I feel like it's right that's when I go in for the kill um, or I'll blow on it <sighs> I don't know you just kind of you just gotta the drier it is the better because you're not you don't want to go in when it's not sticky because it's gonna move and slide around on your lid and it's not gonna lay the way you want it to it's not gonna when I don't know how to explain this when you get it in the spot you want it in you're like oh that looks good it's just gonna slide right out because it's not tacky so you need to wait for it to get a little tacky first and then you know, I'm gonna lean over here and try to put it on what you want to do is get that vein of the lash you want to get the vein of the lash as close to your eyelid as possible so as close to where your eyelids meet your eyelashes that's where you want to lay it hi my camera stopped filming and i don't know what it filmed and what didn't but basically i was talking about putting on fake eyelashes i might have to cut this out so i have one on as you can see and you can see the white bits underneath and that's fine because it's going to dry clear so you don't need to worry about that so if you're putting on fake eyelashes for your first time and you're like there's white stuff everywhere don't worry about it it's going to dry clear if you're using this duo glue at least if you're using something else and it doesn't dry clear it wasn't me i didn't tell you to do it i'm going to go ahead and put this other lash on now <laughs> and those are my finished eyelashes i'm going to put eyeshadow or I'm gonna put eye a little extra mascara to blend in the lashes with my natural lashes. I'm gonna use the Lancome um, Hypnosa Drama. Hypnos Drama? I don't know, but it's one of my favorites. Go get it, it's the best. Okay, and that is how you apply false lashes without destroying your face. Back to the actual tutorial. <laughs>